things are. I mean, how about a little help? Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Islanders win the draw here in their own end. Poked away in the offensive end. Hawk moved over to Drury. The Islanders have it against the wall. Looks to make a play over to Barzell. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to get it over to Lee. And they keep the pressure on. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Bunting's got it in the defensive end. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. And the puck's booted away. Moves it to Natchez. And he takes the dish. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. To his teammate! Denies him in close. What an incredible glove saved by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. The Hurricanes start with the puck in their own end. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Well, he's showing off his skill set. Trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Sisikis has it in their own end. Works it across to Holmstrom. Here they come on the attack. Sends the pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And he takes the feed. Takes a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Slides the puck to Engvall. Sends it in deep. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Puts it on in, turned aside with the glove. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a th real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Svechnikov's a confident player, and if you give him an opening, don't be surprised if he scoops up the puck for a lacrosse-style play. You need to be aware when he's on the attack. From the right side, takes the pass. And he makes the save with ease. Battling for it along the boards. Quick pass to Slavin. The Islanders gain possession. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Absolutely fearless to step in front of that shot. Oh, he has the answer on that one. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We're still scoreless. New York's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. New York's got possession of the puck. From the open ice, they gain the line. Carolina's got the puck in their own end. And gets it deep inside the offensive zone, allowing them to get a breather. Back to the point it goes. The Hurricanes played along the boards. Off the post! So frustrating when you don't get the bounces and you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder, you get the opening goal. The momentum's all in your favor. Great save by Kachetkov! On the one-timer, too much congestion in front. Takes the feed at the point. Takes a shot! Oh, what a glove save there! He read that perfectly! Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. New York's won the faceoff. Center and key, and that chance is blocked. That opportunity is rejected. Sends it quickly to Martinick. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. 
looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Quick feed to Martin. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save! He blocked that one! More than half the period left to play. We've still got zeros on the board. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Drury. Fires it on net. Turns that one away. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Lee. There's a shot, and there's the save on the play. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. That takes carrying it ahead. All alone, organizes him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. The Hurricanes have it now. And now they look to make something. Break away! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of his crease, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. New York's got the puck. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Shot! And that's blocked from someone in front. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Here's a short pass to Pinball. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Sends it into the offensive zone. New York's got it in their own zone. Puts it in deep. Battle along the boards. Handles the pass from the right side. Shot! That one's off the blocker. And that's deflected. Horvat's lugging the puck. Moves it to Marcel. Denied by the goaltender. Solid check to slow him down. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Here they are on the attack. Barzal's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Quick pass to Otto. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Great pass from off the right side. Sends the feet in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Quick feed to Burns. Jostles the puck loose. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out on top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Here in the later stages of this period, still no score in this one. Puck grab by Dobson. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Dobson. Oh, and he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. The Hurricanes are being called for tripping.
both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away. It's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. With a scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. And they get that puck down the ice. Loose it to Palmieri. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Horvath's got it in the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Ajo's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Hurricanes win the draw on their own end. Pinned up along the boards. Quick pass to Pullock. Puck scooped up by Palmieri. Oh, big time save! What a pitch to Tom! Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Picked off by Ajo. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. The Islanders are going to have to move it up quickly here if they're going to capitalize on this power play. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Pesci's almost out of the box. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Both sides are in. Scores! And the bunch of checks are limited tonight! This is why he's the goal scorer, James. He's in tight, almost like he's out of real estate, but he gets the goaltender to bite. This is exactly what you want to do. Then you make your next move, and he outweights the goaltender and puts it in by the post. Carolina's four check finally breaks through as they get on the board here late in the first. Well, good teams find ways to be successful, and they do just that. And they've been clawing their way through to the offensive end all game long, and they finally get rewarded. Handles the puck. Quick feed to Info. Save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Getting into the later stages of this period, Carolina's ahead, 1-0. Good hit on the play. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Hang on to the biscuit after that. And he slides it quickly to Engvall. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Inside the final minute of the first here. Oh, look at this. Scores. And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Well, this is real-time processing with a sweet set of mitts, just making the goaltender move out of position and then recognize him when you have the net to put it in. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Carolina's won the draw. Martinick's got it across the line. Denies him on the slapper. New York's got the puck. They go on the attack from the left side. New York's got the puck here in the open ice. Makes his presence known on the ice. to Martinick. Pass to Chatfield. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. And Bugs Bit Burgers Family Restaurants.
Both teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. Shot, and that's blocked. Grabs the puck in the corner. Shot from the point. Denies him. He got all of it. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. New York's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And some good footwork to kick it away. Reaches out and uses the stick. Moves it quickly over to Lee. Tries to hit! Tremendous stop by Kuchikov! Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Stall side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Pajot's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Broken up by Slavin. Moves the puck down low. Tremendous stop with the blocker by Kuchikov! Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Pajot's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Carolina's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. That's moved up ahead. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Pajot's stick handling in his own zone. Pucks it away in his own end. Carolina's grabbed a hold of the puck. And we are still tied after an excellent kill by the shorthanded unit. Wow, well, it's a critical juncture. Game is tied, and the PK unit does a real great job of keeping it there. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Carolina's ready to go on the attack. Shot! Oh, he just misses! What an opportunity there! Well, just is a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this from a primetime scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed at that. Can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. Directed over to Nelson. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Off the left wing and into center. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And they send it right back to him. The Hurricanes cross the line. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. The Hurricanes win the faceoff. Goes right to the crease. Denies him. Great pressure with the stick. Here's a short pass to Trofield. Oh, I think that painted glass got busted after the shot as the whistle blows the 
play dead. That was a blast of the shot. It just shows how strong the glass is and the technology, the new technology today, James, is adjust spiders. But it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Great put by Morgan. Now a quick pass to Jack here. Well, it's not often that shots beat the goaltender clean from distance, James, but it's all about finding that lane and then getting all of it on it. This one has seeing eyes and makes its way to the back of the net. The Hurricanes, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one way left and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around, and I expect that it will continue to be. New York's got him along the wall. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Takes the pass. And he makes the easy save. Slides it diagonally to Pasho. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after all that chaos. Well, this is a much-needed reset for his team after some sustained ozone pressure by the opponent. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. The Hurricanes win the draw. Moves it to Burns. Carolina's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Intercepted in the offensive end by Martinuk. Across the line from center. The Islanders play along the wing. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Hurricanes are looking to build on this one goal lead. New York's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Can't get it to go. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Quick pass to Slavin. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Quick feed to Holmstrom. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Poked away in the neutral zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. And he loses control here. The Hurricanes have it now. Moves it quickly over to Burns. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, it's a save just got enough to keep it out. Here's a short pass to Burns. There's the whistle, and here's the call. You're trailing by one and you take the penalty, not the way to get back in the game. Apollo's been able to get in on the scoring because of his zone ability, guys. It's one of his biggest strengths as seen already tonight. New York's got it in the defensive zone. Puck slid down the ice. Moves it on over to Natchez. And now he moves it quickly to Bunty. Takes the feed. Sends the pass over. And that goes out of a stick somewhere in traffic. And they clear that puck. Looking to break out here on the power play. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Oh, he got rocked and dumped right into the opposition bench pounder. Oh, and half the bench is up, right? They want to see what the heck's going on. And on the other side, he's in the laps of his opponent. You got to collect yourself and get out of there. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Carolina's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. New York's won the defensive zone draw. The Hurricanes' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Even when you're on a power play, you have more time and space, but you have to have urgency, and there is none on that TP sequence. This group has to figure out a way to generate. Nosen's got it along the wing. 
No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Picked up along the wall by Holmstrom. Moves it to Sisikis. Power the way by Kuchnikov! Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be the task. The Islanders send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was called. Oh, what a save in front. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Denies him in front. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. They got a face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James, so the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. Centering key! And he denies that great opportunity there! And the defenders come up with the puck! Such an impressive save, James, and I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Stalls ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Islanders win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Makes the save with the ball. Sends a pass over. Sacrifices. Scores! They've tied it up. Opportunity knocking, and they take advantage on the power play. Well, you spend so much time in practice working on it because you want to have different layers to throw off the PK units, and I thought they did a real effective job of reading what they were giving, and then they were able to bury it. This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. Past the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. New York's won the draw in the neutral zone. And it's a quick pass to Horvath. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't connect. He got all of that one. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the feed. Horvath's moving it ahead. Quick pass to Nelson. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Nice job tying up his opponent. Carolina's got it against the boards. Quick shot! Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Sorokin! Moves into the slot! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Sorokin! This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Great reach by Horvath. Slavin's got the puck in his own zone. Throws it in. The Islanders gain control of the puck. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. The goaltender doesn't like this one. I mean, he gets beat up high because he can't get back to his feet. Why? Because he's running around in his crease because of an egregious defensive zone turnover. The Hurricanes pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, anytime you score in the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum, momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and you can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. Gets a drug on it to make the save. New York 
Hawks had a lot of good looks offensively, but they have run into one hot goaltender, which is why they trail late in the second. Ajo's won it off the faceoff. Grabbed along the board by Slavin. Passes up ahead for the left wing. Quick feed to Svechnikov. Scores! Andre Svechnikov doing what he does best. I hear coaches preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Here in the late goings of the period, Carolina's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Hooked away by Burns. Scooped up along the wall by Carolina. And he's knocked off the puck there. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Here comes the call. Paul Mary's going on for slashing. <laughs> Carolina's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Moves the puck. Pucks in deep. Quick pass across to Shea. Takes it up center. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Taken along the wall by Natchez. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. There's the whistle, and here's the call. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. You got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. set to earn their keep tonight as they'll try to kill off a five-on-three man advantage. With a long five-on-three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. The coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find an opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it, or you have to fire it. Tonight by Kuchikov! Moves it quickly over to Punting. Moves the puck along the half wall. Turns it aside with the glove. Well, he's flashing the leather on this save. The shooter's in a grade-A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. The Islanders start with the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Sizikis. And the middle frame almost done. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. A chance! And he hangs on just as time runs out! Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Final frame is underway here. 
Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Islanders are behind in this game, and it's pretty easy to see why, James. I mean, look at the amount of turnovers. And listen, they're not supporting the puck carrier either. They're forcing play, and as a result, they're on their heels, and they're behind in this game. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Lots of offense here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. Off the face, off they take the puck. Slides the puck across to Nelson. Fires it, and that was off the player in front. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Great pressure to force the turnover by Horvath. And a nice save there as play continues. Into the attacking end. Here's a chance! And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Horvat. Steps inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. Oh, what a slick stop by Kuchnikov! Great pressure on the offensive end by Nelson. Quick pass to Pellet. Takes the shot. Oh, just saved by Kuchnikov! possession after he takes a little hit. Coming to the slot. Turns it away. And the puck's not loose. Passes over to Pajo. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Carolina's got it behind the net. Takes the return feed. Angles it over to Bunting. That's a solid hit. Dobson's gained the line and on the attack. And that pass attempt is deflected. Gains the zone from the right. Puts it on net. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Score! Small little puck knock on that one as it bounces off someone in front. The Hurricanes probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. And he totally rests on that one. Picked up along the wall by Romano. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. On the attack along the board. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Lots of time left in this period. Carolina's got a three-goal lead. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Moves it quickly over to Ajo. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Blocker saved by Kuchnikov! Clutterbuck's got it along the boards. Fires it! Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And he slides it quickly to McLean. And called for the offside. We'll get a face-off. Still lots of time left in the period. No shortage of offense, most of it from one end. It's 5-2. Slides the puck across to Nelson. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And the puck's kicked free. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Puck picked up by Burns. Passes on over to Nelson. 
The Islanders take it along the wall. Trying to shake the defender. He's in the clear. Oh, what a save! We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Horvath won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Makes the save. Grabbed along the boards by Nelson. Here's an offensive chance. Oh, gets him. He's through with his glove and it keeps out. Oh, and a smart heads up play. Scooped up along the wall by Faust. Taken by Slavin. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Moves the puck across to Paul Mary. Decides to go to the backhand. New York's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. And now it's grabbed by Slavin. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. And that's stopped away by Dobson. Paul Mary's got it against the boards. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in games. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. More than half the period left to play. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Taken along the wall by Lee. There's a chance in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. And the Tendy's going to hang on and get a whistle here and a reset. Much needed one at that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have just been taking control of in their own zone, James, and they needed this reset. They needed the goaltender to pounce on that puck. They can all collect themselves and get a line change. And they win the draw here in their own end. Carolina's got it along the wall. Shea's got the puck. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Carolina's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. New York's on the attack. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Natchez. Tries to feed it over to Shea. Couldn't catch up to that pass. And he takes the pass. Club. He just got enough of it. Varlamov's all over that shot and makes an incredible save. And it stops. And look who's one of a doorstep and he didn't miss that one. This could be a real difficult spot for a goaltender to come into, James. The team is not playing well in front of you. The starter's been chased out of the crease and then you get peppered right away. Real tough. Carolina's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Pesci's got it deep in the offensive end. And it takes a shot. Comes up with a stop. New York's gained possession along the boards. Puck fired in deep, and they'll go for a change. The Hurricanes to play it from the defensive zone. Look out, here they come on the attack. Monster blocker stopped by Varlamov. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Moves it to the middle, and that doesn't go as it's off a stick. The Hurricanes will play it in their own end. Drills them. Over the line they come. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. 
New York's been terrible tonight, James. This is a lackluster performance in all areas of the game, and now the bench is scores! And they get one back here. I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. They're going to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. New York's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Puck grab by Lee. And now it's over to Palmieri. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Gets it over to Kotkaniemi. Here's a short pass to Nosen. Slittering feed! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. New York's got the puck along the wall. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Pushes it across to Fast. Slides the puck over. Nice save from point blank range. Along the right side into the offensive zone. A Chris, a play with the puck check, and it pays off. The Islanders looking against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. They score. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. New York's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals. They need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Poked away. Nice zone entry from the right side. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Jarvis tried to do too much here, and it can be frustrating for the players he's playing with going one-on-one, -on -one and you lose the puck. It's a tough one. Pajot's been lighting the lamp at this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Moves it to Burns. Battle along the wall. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. From the left side, they gain the zone. Sends the pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Good solid check, and he loses control of it. Nice feed inside the offensive zone from the boards. And that shot dies in traffic. Puck scooped up by Natchez. Picked up along the boards by Nelson. Love the pressure on this shift. Really dictating pace. They're like a wave of momentum, and they're tough to contain. Puck picked up by Slavin. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. The Hurricanes start winning this game in part because of their second line that has been really effective. It's kind of a layered approach. When you can get depth scoring and secondary scoring, you know your team has a chance to be successful. Poked away. Good read on the play there by the keeper. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Let's get our third member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? Slavin's worked hard, and even though he hasn't been rewarded for his efforts, I still like his game, and I think he's had the edge in our matchup tonight. Quick pass to Barcel, and the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Can't maintain possession. Picked up along the wall by Ajo. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, Changer. Along the boards, they don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. The Hurricanes are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call.
I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. From the point, they take control of it. Carolina's got a hold of the puck, and they'll get it out of the defensive end. Works it across to Pasho. And he slides it quickly to Engvall. The Islanders play it along the boards. Great save from in tight. His shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Now he slides it up to Lee. Fires it on net. Makes the save, but barely with that one. There's the whistle and a much-needed one at that, Cheryl. Well, everyone takes a breath of fresh air here as they're able to reset as they get chaotic in their own zone. They've lost their coverage. They get the whistle now. Barzell's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Great heads-up play to put it away in the offensive end. Trying to clear the zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Stick feed. But yet you're still far away. You have to have the killer instinct, and you do not want to allow your opponent in and force a game seven. Well, that'll do it for tonight's postseason action, but the play on, and we will see you at the next game. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.